Welcome to Too Many Hobbies. My name's Jeremy. I am glad you're here. What I've got today that I'd like to show you is a programming feature for ProtoSound 1 engines that is built into the Z4000 here. And the reason why I wanted to show you that is because I think it's pretty cool because sometimes you want to program a feature or two on your ProtoSound 1 engines and it's kind of a pain to do it regularly because you on the to do it with the transformer on the ProtoSound 1, any transformer, you got to get into programming mode and turn the throttle up and down a whole bunch of times and this automates that function really nice. We'll show you turning on the horn in neutral on the PCC car here. All right, it's pretty darn straightforward, but to demonstrate what the default behavior is on the ProtoSound 1 trolley there, We'll turn on the juice. We'll just get it into a neutral state. There, it's in neutral. And we'll hit the horn button. And then we'll hit the bell button. This is default behavior on the ProtoSound 1 engines. Okay, we're ready to program. I looked online and I got a copy of the owner's manual from the MTH website. And it said the programming option we want for horn in neutral is 25. And we, we're looking at the blue legends here. So we hit the program button here. We see PG and 00. And we hold the up button until we get to 25. We're at 25. We hit the select button and then it does its magic. Okay, now we are in program 25 in the engine. We hit the bell. Let's hit it again here. Hold it down there. There we go. We'll do it one more time to get two out of it. Then we hit program. And now we let the engine sit because we're done. Wait for it to make its little farting noise. And then we'll give it a shot. We'll just move it forward and back forward so we get it into a neutral state. And we'll try it. Hey, hey it works! Well, I sure hope you enjoyed that alternate way to program your ProtoSound 1 engines using the Z4000 transformer. Kind of an interesting side note, I didn't realize that this transformer could have that functionality. I only learned about that a year or two ago after just glancing in the manual. When I bought this used didn't have a manual, I just never thought about it. But uh, it's pretty cool. I hope you like it. And I wanted to say thank you very much for watching the video. And I hope you check out the rest of the channel because there's, besides railroad stuff, there's a lot of other stuff on this channel as it is Jeremy's Too Many Hobbies. Have a great day.